Hi and welcome to another video of Build Your Own PCs. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll be rotating between Media Center PCs and also gaming PCs every other month. So this month of December, I'm going to be doing gaming PCs. In the month of January, I'll be doing Media Center PCs. So I won't be using the same parts over and over and there will be price differences as the months go by. So anyway I just want to get started today we are going to be doing the $360 gaming PC for the case I have chosen the Gigabyte GZ-F5HEB ATX mid tower case the reason why I just chose this case was just for just something random a case is basically a case but a case can also help with heat but seeing as I'm keeping this under a $360 budget, then going cheaping out on the case is the viable solution. The motherboard I have selected for this build is the MSI FM2-A55M-E33 Micro ATX FM2 motherboard. The reason why I went with this motherboard was because it has just about everything that you might need for the in and out panel such as plenty of USB ports, even has two USB 3.0 ports, which would be nice, which is actually pretty nice, to be honest. And it also has HDMI and also a couple of other video outputs. The CPU, aka the APU for this build, is the AMD A10 5800K. This is a 3.8 gigahertz quad-core APU with the Radeon HD 7660D integrated chipset right on the same die as the APU. Now I also included a cooler for the CPU as well so you'll be able to do some overclocking to get even more performance. The cooler that I have selected is definitely very common which a lot of you probably will know about is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. The fan that is included does 82.9 CFMs and is a sleeve bearing CPU cooler so it'll be somewhat quiet but if you're a gamer and don't care how loud the fans are then this might be a good CPU cooler and you'll be able to do some overclocking now for the RAM I have chosen the Crucial Ballistics 4GB dual channel kit the speed of this memory kit is 1866 MHz with a cast latency of 9 and the voltage is 1.5. For the hard drive, I have selected the Samsung Spinpoint F4 320 gigabyte hard drive. Again, this basically the same reason why I chose the case was because to keep the budget intact. And 320 gigabyte hard drive should be more than enough for all your games, unless you own a ton of games and all that and it is also a 7200 RPM hard drive and for the optical drive I just randomly grabbed the light on IHAS 124-04 DVD burner so basically with this all put together after shipping is about $359 so we are a dollar under budget isn't that pretty good and basically you'll be able to use this for either basically you can have it for different uses such as a low-end video editing machine a media center PC and also a gaming PC which is basically this is focused on so anyway I do want to thank you for watching my video but don't forget to subscribe and also write my videos and maybe leave a comment for suggestions for future videos and I would love to get some emails from you guys. Scullabus at gmail.com. I will have this I will have my email posted in the description box as well as the rest of these specifications. I hope you have a good day and again, thank you for watching.